Nursing burnout is a serious problem that's facing nurses all over the country. Because of COVID, nurses are feeling stressed, they're feeling tired, they're feeling overworked, they're feeling anxious, and this is how I felt as an ER nurse. I changed my career completely, and I went into in-home infusions. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, being an infusion nurse. What is an infusion nurse? An infusion nurse is an RN that goes into a clinical setting or into a patient's home and infuses a medication either through an IV or through a subcutaneous route. This medications can range from anything from IVIG to biologics uh, such as Remicade as well as enzyme replacement therapy. Now the big thing with being an infusion nurse is really you need to start the IV, you need to mix up your medication or start the medication, you monitor your patient for your entire infusion and then you take your IV out and that's it. This you're pretty much over. The other big portion of being an infusion nurse is education. You need to educate these patients on how to uh, monitor themselves, what to watch for with side effects with the medication. Um, sometimes I try to also educate patients on healthy lifestyle choices such as hydration, stuff like that. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. This is probably the easiest job a registered nurse can do. So who is infusion nursing for? What type of nurses should be interested in this? Well, first off, you wanna be an experienced registered nurse. As an infusion nurse, you're not gonna learn a lot about patient assessment. You're not gonna learn a lot about critical care or anything like that. So you really wanna make sure that you've put in your time and you are very comfortable in your assessment skills and your abilities to start IVs and monitor your patients closely. So as an infusion nurse, there's a lot of autonomy. You pretty much are by yourself, especially when you're in home infusion nurse, you're going into the patient's home. The thing with this is you need to be comfortable in your assessment skills and you need to be comfortable in your ability to take care of that patient. If something goes sideways, you don't have any help or backup. You can't run and ask the physician questions. Um, you're pretty much on your own as far as being able to make clinical decisions. Now there are people that you can call. You can call the pharmacy that you work for. You can call the physician's office, the prescribing physician's office. That's not always an option. Sometimes they're not in the office or you're not able to get a hold of anybody in the office. So you need to be very comfortable in your skills. You need to be very comfortable as an RN so that you can assess these patients and know when you need to uh, ask for help, whether that be from the pharmacy or if this is an emergency and then you need to call 911. That's the other thing when, especially in the home setting, is if things go really bad, your only option is to call 911. You don't have uh, a code button, you can't call a code, you don't have a team standing by to come help you. Pretty much you call 911, you stabilize the situation as best you can and you wait for the ambulance to get there. So in that sense, you need to be very comfortable in your skills to monitor these patients and make sure that you can take care of them in a setting that is in their home. Now this is very rare. Uh, very rarely will you ever have an emergency situation where you need to worry about this as being an issue, but it is very important that as a nurse, being in a clinical setting or in the home that you're able to manage your patients safely. And if something like that should arise, you need to be able to manage the situation and take care of it. So the other type of nurse that infusion nursing is for is the nurse that's looking for a break. Somebody that just is burnt out on working in the hospital and really trying to find something to take it down a notch. Now infusion nursing is still work. It takes, still takes effort so that you can take care of your patients. But compared to working in the hospital, especially the emergency room or ICU or one of those high pace areas, infusion nursing is much, much easier, at least in my opinion. When these infusions are going on, it gives you a lot of free time. So pretty much you need to do your initial assessment, you start the patient's IV, you start the infusion, and then you just need to monitor the patient every so often, do a set of vital signs. But beyond that, your time is yours. So you can pretty much do whatever it is that you want to or need to do. So you can read, you can study, you can uh, work on hobbies. I think of a lot of ideas to make videos about, uh, as well as photography and other things that I'm into. So there offers a lot of time outside of just constantly focusing on work, which is huge for somebody that's burnt out to really kind of take it down a notch, do what you need to do so that you're still doing your job, 
but you can still have time to yourself to be able to think about other things other than just work. The nice thing about infusion nursing as well is that I only work Monday through Friday, regular business hours, and I have uh, holidays off. This is huge, this is huge. Especially coming from the emergency room where you always worked all the holidays, You, I worked nights, I worked 12 hour shifts, I never saw my family, I never had time to do anything other than sleep and work and at that point in my life that was great that's what i wanted but now i'm looking for a different avenue to walk down for my career i'm looking for a better work-life balance that balances my family as well as my need to work and make money and for me infusion nursing was that especially because i was feeling extremely burnt out as an er nurse and i needed something to change in my professional career so that I didn't allow it to affect me in the way that it was. So who is a fusion nursing not for? This is another big question that we need to answer. Infusion nursing is not for those nurses that are looking for fast paced, busy, lots of experience working with super sick patients, uh, doing exciting things. Infusion nursing inherently is not exciting is very slow paced, very easy going, not in a hurry to do much of anything, make sure that your patients are taken care of and that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you're looking for that high paced, high um, experience areas to work as a nurse, infusion nursing is definitely not for you. The other thing is I would say that infusion nursing is not for new nurses. Just because of the nature of infusion nursing, it's such a slow kind of paced environment, you don't learn a whole lot as far as assessment skills and how to deal with critical patients. So for new nurses, this I would say infusion nursing probably isn't the best choice just because it doesn't allow you to learn the skills that you need so that you could become a good nurse. So what are the benefits of infusion nursing? Number one is a very, very chill job. It is something that coming from the ER where I was burnt out and I wasn't sure about whether I wanted to be a nurse anymore, I was able to come into infusion nursing and it allowed me to take a break uh, and take, a, take it down a notch and really kind of decompress from all the years of being in the ER. And it is something that really helped me to remember why I became a nurse and why I want to do this for the rest of my life. The other thing too is it pays really well. So especially in home infusion nursing. So when you work in home infusion nursing, you get paid hourly. So you get paid hourly for drive time and then you also get paid mileage uh, to the patient's home. So say you start from your house, it's two hours to the patient four hour infusion and then two hours home. You get paid for that two hour drive time, four hours infusion time, and then two hour drive home. You also get paid mileage. So however miles there and then miles back. And when you get paid mileage, it is tax free. So you don't have to pay any taxes on that because it's considered wear and tear on your vehicle. So what this equates to is the ability to really make a lot of money being an infusion nurse for not doing quite as much work, especially compared to being in the hospital. Another huge benefit of infusion nursing is it creates a work-life balance that in my opinion, you can't find anywhere else. It allows you to have this balance between your family, seeing your family, being home for weekends, holidays, normal hours, and still being able to work in a profession that you love and make really good money doing it. So for me, this career has a work-life balance that can't be matched by any other area of nursing. It allows for a level of trust and appreciation to develop that I haven't experienced in the emergency room. I have never been called a good nurse so many times in my entire career. This is really important, I think, for nursing especially is because as nurses, we really care a lot about our patients. We really put a lot of effort and time into our care so that we can take care of patients. And when you work in high pace nursing, sometimes you don't 
get recognized or appreciated for the care that you render. And being in a slower environment where you see the same patients a lot of the time, you get a lot more appreciation for the care that you give them. The appreciation that I get from patients helps me remember why I wanted to become a nurse and why I do this. And it is a super important aspect of care when you're caring for a patient that you are appreciated for the care that you're giving them. I don't think any nurse got into nursing for recognition. Nobody wakes up every morning and says, I wanna be recognized for my hard work and I'm gonna take care of patients so that I could be put on this pedestal. And that's not the case at all. But, but it is super nice to hear that people appreciate your hard work. I think that we put a lot of effort into taking care of patients and it is super important that you hear that the patients that you're taking care of are very much appreciative for that care. And it gives you a renewed sense of, this is why I'm a nurse. This is why I do what I do, is this is why I take care of patients so that I can make a difference in people's lives. And it's nice to hear that and it makes it easier to put in that effort and put in that hard work so that you can help take care of these patients. So now that we know what an infusion nurse is, uh, the benefits and the drawbacks of being an infusion nurse, we need to talk about some key components to infusion nursing or skills that you'll need to be an effective infusion nurse. And number one most important thing for an infusion nurse to be able to do as far as skills is being able to start an IV. I would say the second most important skill to have as an infusion nurse uh, is just being able to strike up a conversation with the stranger. Uh, if you're one of those people that has no problems communicating with a stranger, or being able to strike up a conversation with some stranger off the street, you're gonna do great with this. Now, that being said, as a nurse, you need to do your assessments and you need to be able to communicate professionally in a medical way. But beyond that, you just need to have that comfort to be able to communicate with uh, a stranger and just hold a conversation. Now this isn't always the case. A lot of times when you go into start an infusion, the patient just wants to sleep or they're working or they're doing something other than wanting to talk to you. But it is an important skill to have or at least be comfortable in that ability to just have a conversation with a stranger. So a third very important skill to have is to be very focused on attention to detail. When you're dealing with patients, especially in a home setting, it's not only the care that you give them, it's the perception of the care that you are giving your patient. So you need to make sure that the patient perceives the care that you're giving them as quality. Now whether, you know, we, I know that we all give quality care, but if the patient doesn't perceive it as quality care, then it really doesn't matter how good the care is because the patient's gonna perceive it as not quality. So for me, something that I like to use that helps me to give that perception of quality care is to be very detail oriented and very focused on making sure that things are very systematic. Another important aspect of infusion nursing, especially when you start working with patients regularly and you see the same patient every week, every other week, every month, uh, and you've been with them for year or year plus or however long, is you need to make sure that you maintain a professional boundary with the patient it's super easy to become very friendly with these patients and develop a friendship with your patient and sometimes that line can get blurred as between patient and nurse and it's super important that you always maintain that line because at the end of the day you are a nurse rendering care to your patient and you need to make sure that no matter how much or how friendly you are with them and how much you like them, that you maintain that professional line so that you can provide quality professional care to them uh, in an effective manner. Our jobs as nurses is not always to be your patient's friend. And sometimes you have to tell them things that they don't wanna hear because it's required or it's because it's in their best interest. So you need to make sure you maintain that professional line so that if that day ever comes where you need to be the nurse and say something that's unpopular uh, or unfriendly necessarily, something that they don't wanna hear, 
but it's benefits them and it's for the benefit of their care, it makes it easier to take on that role and be the nurse uh, for your patient. So infusion nursing is something that may not be for everybody, but I think that infusion nursing is for a lot of nurses out there, especially ones looking to take it down a notch and really kind of rebalance their work-life balance. And I think that infusion nursing could be the key to that for you. Infusion nursing was the answer that I was looking for in my career at the time. Please comment below. I would love to hear any comments that you have about infusion nursing. I would love to hear any questions that you may have about infusion nursing that I can answer for you. Also like this video, subscribe to the channel as I'll be putting out a lot more content in the future. And as always guys, thank you.